I'm a fool and an idiot. <laughs> I had my mic turned off, huh? Well, to be fair, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional. That's my only excuse. The AC is making such loud noises, but if I turn it off, I will die. And so we drink. Oh, okay. So before the live stream, I was talking to my mom and she was getting ready to leave. And she was like, like, my mom speaks English, but like at a first grade level. And she was like, I didn't invite you because I know you're doing your life cream. <laughs> Guys, it's a life cream. That's so cute. Uh, but anyway, this is me tonight. Oh, I've had a week. I'll probably talk about it later. But like, oh boy. How well is that Sharina? Good evening. Good morning. Thank you. This is actually the dress that I'm going to wear for Christmas. I, this is just a, a sneak peek. I also have to get it fixed because right now I have like a pin right here because otherwise the tits go everywhere. Actually, when I was getting dressed, the pin kind of popped out, and I'm just like, I hope that doesn't happen again. I hope that doesn't happen tonight during the stream. Oh, and unbelievably, the stream is not shit right now. Can you believe it? Let's check. Yeah! Not a mess. Love that. Oh no, wait. I forgot to put the subtitles. I've been trying to figure out what was tanking my, uh, like the stream before, and apparently it wasn't that. Okay. All right, but tonight we're doing some uh quizzes. I'm very excited because last time. I don't know if you guys remembered, but you quiz was like, you're fucking gay. Like three times. <laughs> Let's see if it's gonna stop doing that. All right. Let's go over here. All right. I love the quizzes that are like, I'll tell you what to study. Okay, the, the title of this quiz is Pack for School and I'll tell you what to study. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm done with studying. I'm not studying ever again. Uh, I, it's over. I'm never learning a single new thing. Oh my god. Okay, so pick a backpack. And I'm already loving the Nightmare Round one at Z. 
This looks amazing. I would own that. These are all, okay. This looks tiny. This is more the style that I wear, but it looks tiny. I guess I'm going with a classic Jan sport. Maybe this one actually. I carry a lot of shit around. I need a lot of room. I don't like the color, but. Okay, how many notebooks do you take? One for every class, maybe one or two more for good measure. One for every class. Only enough for the classes that don't post notes online. Just one, I organize my notes once I get home. No, I just one, I keep my, uh, my notes all in the same place. None, I take my notes digitally or none, I don't take notes. I am that bitch that has extra notebooks. I love having a little notebook for like ideas. I like to think that I have ideas sometimes. Okay, pick a paper rule for your notebooks. Okay, so here's the thing. I've recently gotten into dotted journals. <laughs> I think they're nice, I think they're cool because they can be lined or graphed or blank. It can be whatever you want. Choose a notebook binding. Uh, book bound. I like, I don't like spirals. Choose notebook covers. Ooh. Ooh. I love these floral ones. Choose a pencil case. <laughs> I love the single elastic band. It's like, no, I'm the bitch that has the huge case. I need to, how many pencils or pens do you take? The whole box, a couple extra, just one or none. The whole box. I have a variety. I can take notes in every color. Choose a pencil. Oh, I had, I've had one of these. They're nice. Choose a pen. <sighs> no one beats a classic. Ooh, highlighters. Okay. Oh, I like these pastel ones. Pick something to color with. <laughs> oh, I thought this, aren't these? Highlighters? They're markers? Uh, let's go with Crayola markers. We love something that can be washed off. Do you take your textbooks? Yes. If I have textbooks, I take them. Choose a calculator. Ooh, I actually, I don't have this one, but I had this one. I took my fancy calculator to, to art school and I never used it. Choose a water bottle. This one's cute. I prefer the metal ones because they keep stuff cool. What do you take to eat? Pack a full lunch, sandwich, chips, baby carrots, maybe dessert, nope. Lunchable, nope. Lun nothing, I'll buy food if I get hungry, yeah. Leftovers in a Tupperware, oh, that's also a classic. Just snacks for throughout the day, granola nuts, raisins, ramen to cook in the microwave, candy or chips, soup in a thermos. Yeah, no, I'll buy food if I get hungry. Wild card, okay. Laptop. Definitely laptop. My current laptop is too heavy to be carrying around. Ooh! <laughs> okay. Literally, chemistry was my least favorite subject ever. But it was because of the teacher. He sucked ass. <laughs> Thank you for calling me a fucking nerd. 
Ooh, these are a lot of answers. Oh, 0% get chemistry. Let's see if there's something here close to what I actually went to school for. Because we have nursing, no, political science, electrical engineering, architecture, mathematics, physics, sociology, geology, psychology, environment, science, meteorology, dentistry, law, history, foreign language, criminal justice, English, biology, well, maybe fine arts, computer science, journalism, philosophy, accounting, social work, mechanical engineering, chemistry, education, agri agriculture, linguistics, economics, music, marketing, pharmacy, medicine. Yeah, it would have had to been like fine arts. Oh, there was a quiz that I really wanted to do. But we'll find it eventually. What's your voice part? <laughs> I will assign you a voice part without e ever even hearing you sing. Nay, speak. I simply rummage around in the cardboard boxes in your noggin and retrieve it. Also, I'm always right, so just jot down, down. Sure. Okay, pick a color, not your favorite, just pick one. Pink. Well, okay, orange is out of the question. Teal, burgundy, indigo, navy, or golden? <sighs> out of all of these, I'll choose pink. Pick a smell, not the ones that smells the best, just pick one. Pepper, spice, and cayenne. K K cayenne? Cayenne? Ah, I hate language. <laughs> Salt, sea air, clean laundry. Oh, I like that one. Wet paint, I love that. Ink, graphite. Like, that's the thing, when I was growing up, my house was always being built. So, I love the smell of wet paint. Metal coins, tin, and aluminum. No. Flour, dust, ashes. No. Coffee, coal, dirt. A store bought candle with a very vague or an abstract scent, like memories or joy. No, let's go salt. I love sea air. Pick a taste, not the most delicious, just pick one. Chocolate, syrup, whiskey, anything dark and smooth. Ooh, I love lemons, lime, citric acid, sour candy, anything sour and bright. Meat of any sort. Meat can be bad. <laughs> like, that's the thing. I, I eat meat. I have to because of medical reasons. And meat sometimes is not good. Ooh, bread, biscuits, milk and honey, anything warm and mild. Mint, spearmint, peppermint, winter mint, anything fresh and clean. Pretzels, granola, Chex Mix, anything crunchy and salty. Blackberries, pomegranate, Coca-Cola, anything dark and tangy. Uh, I'm going to stick with lemons and limes. Pick a sound, not the prettiest, just pick one. The pop fizz of opening a soda can, I love that. Leaves crunching, I don't get to experience that a lot. Wheels on cobblestone, wood splintering and cracking. Electrical hums, not buzz, I like that. Running water, a bell ringing to announce your entrance. I have a complicated relationship with bells. <laughs> I think that they can be creepy. Pick a texture, not the most satisfying, just pick one. Smooth, rubbery, soft, prickly, spongy, fuzzy, rough. I like fuzzy. That sounds cute. Okay, enough with the ominous ass sensory questions. Do you like musicals? Yes. Exhausted. No. Feels bad about it. Yes. Obsessed. Yes. Casual. No. Filled with burning hatred. Okay, I'm between yes, obsessed, and yes, casual. Because I'm, in my old age, I have found myself being a more casual person. In my old age, I found myself, I'm gonna uh, strip for a second. <gasps> Scandalous. Because I'm getting a text. Yeah, okay, it's nothing. I got naked for nothing. Okay. I would 
say that I'm more obsessed with musicals than the regular person, but not enough to be actually obsessed. And I'm gonna go with obsessed. Okay, do you play an instrument? <sighs> I love the first option is just I am tone deaf. <sighs> okay, my voice is my instrument. Absolutely not. I play multiple instruments. I play brass, I play strings, I play percussion, I play piano and or ukulele. It's funny that they're listed together. I play woodwinds, I play something funky and cool that you have not listed here but I am fiercely proud of. Or I don't play anything instrumenty. So here's the thing. I took one year of piano classes and it was a bit embarrassing because I was finishing high school and all the classmates that were at my level were like seven. So that was not a good time for me. But I'm gonna say I don't play anything instrumenty. Pick a playlist of mine by title alone. Okay. Starring me, I love that. Did someone say girl boss? Believe it when I see it. I just want to fight everyone. Rust easy. Foaming at the mouth. It's the little ones that matter. Ooh, I love that actually. Must be hard to fold a horse. <laughs> Songs to kill God to. Dealt with the devil and won. Soft arson. Evidence of humanity. The banana playlist. Haha, <laughs> classic sunglasses emoji. When the sun sets, we were both the same. Arrow ace up my sleeve. Cool it with the theatrics. Fresh college freshman collage. Yeah, no, it's the little ones that matter. Pick a character from Into the Woods for your dream role. Mm. Cinderella, the baker's wife, the witch, Jack, the baker, one of the princes, someone else. I have no idea what you're talking about and has never listened to Into the Woods. Uh... I think the baker's wife has a fun role. Ah, I got Soprano! You got a wicked case of main character syndrome. Rich for the stars though. You and I both know you can't make it that high. I can't, I'm short. I'm short, I can't make it very high. But thank you, thank you for the main character. I love that one of the answers is you somehow transcend range. I would... Like, here's the thing. Main character, but derogatory. Like, all the shit is always happening to me. I had a realization today, because I have said before, like, I have an arthritis, and I just today realized, like, oh, I have a chronic illness. <laughs> I have something wrong with me that it's not gonna get better. I'm just gonna be a little bit in pain for the rest of my life. So that kind of sucks. Oh well. All right, let's see. This one sounds dramatic. Where does your weakness live? I would think inside me. Ah. Uh, what's your enneagram? Here's the thing. I've looked into the enneagram and the only one I found you had to pay for it and I'm not paying. I'm not paying for a personality quiz. I don't know. I know. I don't know what's my enneagram type. Which of these motivates you for tomorrow? Uh, what I learned today, the love I felt today, the laughs I caused today, my duty to protect what I have, my will to spite those who said I couldn't continue, that's it. I'm doing this shit out of spite. <laughs> you can find your true self where? 
Ooh. Upon a stage, applause erupts. Those on the stage come to meet you in the middle. They take your hands to bow, and for a fleeting second, you feel connected. That's cute. Deep within the mess of your room, no matter what litters the floor, you know that nothing bad can happen while you're in here. This is your space. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. The aftermath of standing up for yourself. They know better than to hurt you again. The adrenaline finally wears off and your hands are shaking. No. Late night during a slumber party, everyone's sharing secrets and you feel trusted, loved. Yeah, that's it. In a classroom during a test, it's quiet, your mind works faster than your hands. You've got this. Will you love again? Hmm. I hope so. I am loving. I, I will always love. Yeah. Attraction platonic, romantic, attraction platonic or romantic is natural. Humans are social creatures. I don't know if I can. Will they love me? No, I am loving. I will always love. What speaks most to you? When someone waits for me, it could be as simple as them hanging back while I tie my shoes or as difficult as waiting for my trust. When someone spends time with me and wants to do so for more than what first impressions define me as, I like that. When somebody fights for me, I'm tired of doing it myself. When somebody's love is as unconditional as mine when they stay. When somebody hears me, the idea of being valued in spite of my imperfections. These are all very nice. Oh, when someone hears me. What does life present herself to you? Oh, how does life present herself to you? Life is a scientist working day and night to understand the world's intricacies. Life is a mother comforting her baby. Life is an artist who laughs at their mistakes. I like that. Life is a strange child asking me to play because no one their age will. I like that better. Life is, fun, is found in evil things. Absolutely not. Life is sweet. They say they're sorry. I say thank you. I cannot forgive them. Who? Why? I forgive them. I apologize. I refuse them. I say thank you and I cannot forgive them. Lift your burdens and leave them at the door. No, thank you. Within your chest. That's that's exactly what I said with, before we started. Where does my weakness lie within me? Okay. Your chest is ever aching. You carry the burdens of so many without regard to yourself. And it feels like no one will ever return the favor. You pay forward love to people with the idea that you won't be heartbroken. By but time and time again, you're proven wrong. It hurts, I bet. I know that every single day you're met with the challenge of trusting again. For all I know, maybe tomorrow will be the day you give up on love. Honey, all I ask is that you don't get it, don't give it up today. Love is the center of your being, and one day you'll give yourself the same unconditional affection you promised to others. Love, believe it or not, loves you. Do not do to love what so many have done to you. You're not the only boundless lover, I swear. That's very sweet, actually. Okay. What's the other options? You got against your knees. I want to see what that means. It lives in your smile. It leaves, lives in your gut or behind your eyes. I have not been putting the, the quiz links. And that's a shame because I actually want people to take the quizzes. I feel bad. Uh, I feel bad like taking because I'm, I'm using someone else's creative outlet to do this live stream and I think that I should pay it back send you guys back to where I found it so that you get to experience it too There was that video by Philosophy 2 where she was talking about art 
and how kind of art is in the experience. And let's say that this is art so that you can experience it too. There's a quiz here that I don't know if I've done before. Okay, rate these men that I don't find hot. Let's see if I've done this quiz before. Welcome, please describe your current emotional state using a song with no context. Uh, girls. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, what's my answer supposed to be? Hayden Christensen? I give him a five. He's all right. Jensen Ackles, a six. When he was younger, he looked like a lesbian. Thomas Brody Sangster. Six. Chris Hemsworth. Seven. I see it. I see why people find him hot. Youngblood. Five. Mats Mickelson. Yeah, you see, no, I see that. I see that. That's a seven. Sam from Atis. No, I, yeah, that's an eight. Johnny Depp. Five. John B. from Outer Banks. That's a six. Robert Downey Jr. That's a five. Like, that's, she's one of my floorboards. I'm judging you very heavily on this. Bob Floyd, I have not seen Top Gun Maverick. Joe March, I would choose her. Steven Meekton Meeks from Dead Poets, I have not seen that. The Corinthian from The Sandman, I haven't seen that. Frank Castle from The Punisher, I haven't seen that. Lemon from Bullet Train, I haven't seen that. Regulus Black from Harry Potter, we don't talk about Harry Potter. Eve Palastri from Killing Eve. We're going with Joe March. <laughs> ah! This was stupid! This was stupid! Thank you. Probably a good time to tell you I'm a lesbian. This is so fucking stupid! This is the opposite of that quiz, what's your favorite color? That was such a good, fun time. Anyway, here's the link to that piece of shit. I'm mad now. Okay. Have I done this one before? What kind of spooky creature are you? I know it's not spooky season anymore. But to be fair, Christmas decorations are up now, and I think that's insane. It's not time yet. Pick a fall activity. Pumpkin bread, stealing rose signs from the interstate, experiencing oncoming seasonal depression, be on Twitter, lay in the autumn sun, experiencing oncoming seasonal depression. Pick a Halloween decoration. Ooh, I love the fake murder scene. Giant spider web. Spider web. Jack-o'-lantern, yard skeleton of Beanie Baby. Fake murder scene. Do you have trust issues? Not, yeah, only with strangers, only with people close to me. I'm just gonna go, yeah. Who trusts these days? Are you donating your body to science? Yes. Do you like Halloween even? I love Halloween, this shit fucking rocks. No, yeah. I like the holiday in concept, but choosing a costume is always really stressful for no reason. Like I'm going to have a good time, but I hate the texture of fake spider webs. 
That's kind of true, though. No, it's fun. What's your go-to candy? Why is the first option fruit? I like fruit. Uh, but that should not. Then you've got Snickers, no. M&M's, no. Milk Duds, I lost a tooth to one of these ones. Candy Corn, Sour Patch Kids, no, you don't have mine. I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. If you were a creature, what would be your creature pastime of choice? Hunting and killing and eating, wallowing, doing very long dis going very long distances, or affection? Affection. I don't think that would change. What sort of costume are you wearing this year? Something sexy. Every day I put on a new costume to live what life. Halloween is simply one of many days. I like that. A popular character from something I enjoy. Something spooky. No costume, just candy and a good movie. No. Ideal fall drink. I like mulled wine, hot tea, flavored coffee with all the fixings or apple cider. If it's fall, it's mulled wine. If it's any time else, it's tea. Pick a pick. Ooh, these are nice. I'm going with this one. This one's like a little spooky. A sound. A knife through pumpkin flesh. A cat purring. Rain against windows. Chanting incantations. A new podcast. Rain against windows. That's actually what I fall asleep to. A sight, a discord notification, a clear blue autumn sky, first frost on the lawn, graffiti on the overpass, a potluck meal. A potluck meal. A smell, studying printer ink and coffee. Forest walk, dead leaves and living wood. Sneaking out, cold air and gasoline. I like that. Orange Yankee candle, pumpkin and wax. Equinox bone, bonfire, smoke and marshmallows. Tell me about your favorite ghost story. No. What's your favorite spooky creature that's not an answer to this quiz? Goblin, werewolf, clown, the scary kind, demon, just a regular dude. I'll go with demon.
I look so stupid when I'm checking the back end. didn't even update. Okay. All right. So famous posts. Let's go. Pick one of the seven deadly sins. Uh, green. I like your shoelaces. I know what you're talking about, but I refuse to answer. Fuck you. I don't know what you're talking about. I only use Velcro, but because I never learned how to tie my shoes. Thanks, I stole them from the president. Thanks, I guess. I'm pretending that I didn't hear you. I'm a sucker for a thing. Pick a Tumblr fandom that became a menace to society. John Locke, Shippers, Harry Potter, Hannibal, Star Trek, Homestuck, Fallout Boy, Panic at the Disco, 21 Pilots, or Super Hulock. If we're going by menace to society, the John Locke shippers got out of hand. Choose a post that isn't a result in this quiz. Alexander's Genesis, purple, purple eyes, no body hair, no period. John Green cop posts. I survived the Mr. Apocalypse. Supernatural nails. Homophobic dad who ends up shipping John Locke. The gays go to super hell. Any of the posts that were normal but then hijacked by hundreds of fandom gifts. Uh, homophobic dad. That's a classic. Pick an aesthetic image that Tumblr went bad shit over. Hmm. I love a good flower clown. <laughs> I said that wrong. <laughs> hey, pick one adjective that describes you. Liar, angry, tumultuous, annoying, repulsive, dramatic, insufferable. Dramatic. I have a flair for it. Pick a Tumblr sexy man. Why is Markiplier here? Who included Markiplier in this? Okay. My choice for ultimate sexy Tumblr sexy man is always Bill Cipher. You cannot change my mind. Why is Garfield here? Why is Garfield here? I'm not, like, that's the thing. I'm not faced by Pennywise. I get it. I understand that people are into that. But why is Garfield here? What's your type? Mm. We got MILFs and DILFs. I love a MILF. I like food more than people? Nope. Tumblr sexy men? Nope. People who unironically listen to Weezer? I've never listened to Weezer. I don't know. Guy who listens to male manipulator music? Literally anyone I'm lonely? Or scary women? Let's go with literally anyone. But I'm selective in that. Pick a character from the TCU, Tumblr Cinematic Universe. Ooh, I would need Darkness to mention Raven Way. I love that. Thomas Jefferson, Miku Hatsune... Why is it Miku Hatsune Binder? Anyway, Misha Collins, Tumblr user Pizza, Bendy Snitch Cucumber Patch, America's Ass, The Ball Pit. It has to be Tumblr user Pizza. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember pizza? <laughs> no! No! I mean, this is a classic, but why? I like your shoelaces. Thanks, I stole them from the president. If anyone ever said this to me in real life, I think I would become violently ill. Why is this the most... <laughs> <laughs> this is the most popular bullet, the one. Is it because I answered you? Is it because I answered you? Okay. We got Homestuck Cop. I love that. Do you love the color of the sky? Fuck you. Down with Sis Bus. I wish I got in that one. The Ball Pit. Sure. Three Weed Smoking Girlfriends or Randy Your Sticks. Okay, I enjoyed this. This was fun. Okay, this one looks interesting. What kind of touch do you possess?
Let's go. Oh, I forgot to put the quizzes. <sighs> I, my brain is mush, as you probably know by now. sensation you most resonate with. The warmth of the sun hitting your skin. I am too pale for that. A strong gust of wind leaving you breathless. I love that. Cool wind breeze refreshing your face after a hot day. First raindrops of a storm hitting your skin then dissolving. The crunch of snow underneath your shoes. The familiar heat from the fireplace you feel with you, you feel with your hands outstretched. Actually, the cool wind breeze refreshing your face after a hot day. Pick a clothing item to make you feel confident. Work out athletic shoes that allow you to push yourself to the max. Silk dress adjusted perfectly in the right places. Cozy sweater that protects you from the coldness outside. Sleek classic suit that exudes power. Earrings you make yourself that will earn you compliments from everyone. Those classic trusty jeans that hide you in the right places. I'm gonna say cozy sweater. What do you need from a lover? Stability and comfort. Someone who feels like home and I can always rely on them. Yeah. Intensity. Someone who I can experience life to the fullest with. Support. Someone who won't let me fail and pushes me to do what I can and beyond. Spirit. Someone who keeps me on my toes and helps me forget my bad days. Now it's all about stability, baby. Choose a kiss to receive. Intense and passionate kiss leaving my heart pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin. Ah, uh, I'm so cute. Okay. Leaving my heart pumping. Soft forehead kiss, leaving me feeling reassured. Cheeky peck on the lips out of nowhere, something to wake me up. Neck kiss that simulates my other senses. A French kiss between me and my significant other, familiar and full of love. An innocent cheek kiss from a friend that leaves me warm inside. Pick something to do with your hands. Create. I love that. Hold the hand of someone important to me. Play a sport and feel the weight of the ball in my hands. Trace the skin of my lover's back. Closing my laptop after a productive time. Turning the lights, uh, turning on the lights after getting home from work. Yeah, now it's creating. Pick a song to put on during a long drive. Song that reminds you of your childhood teen years. Yeah. Classics, bangers, if you will. Ones I know all the words to. Whatever makes me feel like a bad bitch. Something groovy that can't help but make me smile. That pop song I can't get out of my head. It's so catchy and never fails to get me pumped. Something to get me in my feels. The car is where I can't sing without any restriction. Yeah, no, it sounds from when I was younger, are usually my kind of songs. Alcoholic drink of choice. Whatever gets me drunk the quickest. Whiskey on the rocks. Any wine, the expensive kind. Vodka and mixer. Beer, cocktail, or margarita. Water or tea, I don't drink. I love a cocktail. Worst feeling to have. Boredom or being numb to everything. Yeah. Losing my passion or having no spark. Failure, especially if you've poured your soul into it. Losing someone, something special to me. Being useless and competent. No, the worst is boredom. Because, like, all of these things mean something is happening. Something is going on. And you can do something about it. Pick a game to play. Animal Crossing, Just Dance, Super Smash Bros, Una or other card games, like DS. Chess or Chuckers drinking game. I'll go with Uno because I like the tactile feeling. 
Choose an underrated love language. Fixing a loose strand hair or tucking in their tags that's sticking out. Squeezes some... Uh, my words are failing me. That's fine. Squeezing someone's hand out of excitement. Making a playlist for someone you love. Kissing the nape of someone's neck. I knew you could do it saying or hearing those words. Sending a text with something attached that made you think of them. No, it's I knew you could do it. Ooh, lingering touch. You are home. You are the feeling of lasting peacefulness. It resonates in your bones and stabilizes your surroundings. You like routine and the familiarity of things. It brings you satisfaction to have a grounded life. You want to build something you're proud of and share the benefits of your with your loved ones. You are the glue of your friends and family and essential to the functioning of the group. Others admire your responsibility and how they can rely on you for anything. You are amazing. That's very sweet. I don't believe that shit for a minute, but it's very sweet. Ooh, we got warm touch, creative touch, powerful touch, sensual touch, stimulating touch. Interesting. I'm gonna do one more. Uh, I'm going to put the quiz in the chat. All right. One last one. Which fictional man can you fix? Could you fix? I, my vote is none. All right. Oh, whoops. That's the problem with having a tiny microphone. Sometimes I knock it out of the way. All right, let's go. Do you want to fix him? Yes. I want to make him worse. I get fixed fix him, but whatever is going on with him is so much funnier. I want to help him commit atrocities. He will fix himself if he knows what's good for him. Yeah, that's the thing. He will fix himself. Choose one of my favorite romance tropes. Beauty and the Beast. Character A confesses their love for character B even though they know their love isn't returned, not because they're trying to get something out of it, but because they need character B to know how they feel just once. Confident, flirt, socially awkward nerd. I love that. Two characters are drawn together because of their shared ideals but are pulled apart because they differ on how to make those ideals a reality. Are happy to die at each other's side. Ooh, happy to die at each other's side, though. I mean, that's, that's what we're all looking for in life, you know? Someone that would be happy to spend death with you. Which of the following were you most likely to do when playing Sue Tycoon? Name the animals after characters from whatever book series you were obsessed with at the time. This is so cute, by the way. I never played Sue Tycoon, so we'll see. See all of the X's and let the T-Rexes loose. Actually play the game the way you're supposed to. Build lo lots of accessible exhibits with happy animals. Added lots of benches and restaurants for the guests. If you could have gotten an A in Sue Tycoon, you would have. Oh, that's so me. That's so me. I fail to get rid of your predator animal's male offspring when they grow up, so one of them eventually challenges their father and wins, and then you have a ribcage of, called Grizzly Bear 2 or whatever just sitting in the exhibit, and you just don't get rid of it for some reason even though you easily could or run out of money. Yeah, I, I would get an A and Sue Tycoon. Choose a love confession scene that makes me vomit blood. Spike's You're the One speech from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same scene from Wuthering Heights. Sure. That I don't deserve someone like you, but if I ever could, I swear I would love you for the rest of my life. Scene from Groundhog Day. You're the only man that's ever touched me. The only one from Moonlight. I do love nothing in the world so well as you. Is that not strange? For much ado about nothing! That's it! That's the answer, baby! 
If I were not myself, but the handsomest, cleverest, best man in the world, and if I were free, I would be on my knees this minute to beg for your hand and your love for more in peace. I'm in love with you. I'm really sorry if that's weird for you to hear, but I just needed you to hear it from the office. No, it's, I do love nothing in the world so well as you. Is that not strange? Because love is kind of strange. Choose a song from the A&B Hall of Fame. Angel with a shotgun, baby. <laughs> Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne. Numb by Linkin Park. Every time we touch. It has to be Angel with a shotgun, baby. Choose a girl from a book. There's a lot of options in this one. Oh, nah, there's a decent amount of options. Let's see which ones I know. We got Eleanor Dashwood. And Annabeth Chase, Minna Murray, Anna Catalina. Anna Catalina. Oh my god. This is my cousin's favorite book. Amy March. Elwin. Lyra Bellacqua. Katniss Everdeen. Anne Elliott. Emma Whithouse. Jen Eyre. Elizabeth Bennett. Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Rosalind from As You Like It, Lady Macbeth, Estella from Great Expectations. I'm going to go with Lady Macbeth. It's about the yearning, the vibes, the inherent sadness, the horror, the intense loneliness. Hmm. It's about the inherent sadness. She was a piece of art. Oh my god, them, they're going nuts. I love it. Oh, they're going nuts. Hell yeah. Choose an unhinged girl. Laura Palmer, Catherine Earnshaw, Elaine from The Love Witch, Amma Crellin, Jennifer Chuck, yes, Carrie White. Choose a pop girly. Marina! That's the choice. Then you got Lana the Ray, Carly Ray Jepsen, Rina Sawayama, Charlie XES, and Twigs. Which type of fictional man are you most likely to be insane about? Emo, pathetic loser, he's literally just some guy, doomed from the start, or war criminal. Doomed from the start! What's the most important thing to remember? The, the love was there. It didn't change anything, it didn't save anything, but the love was there. I like that. <laughs> violence makes violence, makes nothing much at all. You can never go home again, not really. A thing must be loved before it is lovable. Power doesn't corrupt, power reveals when someone has enough power to do what they've always wanted, you see what they've always wanted to do. No, it's the love that was there. <laughs> I could fix how I cannot believe this. Yeah, you could fix him, but he's also, he's hilarious this way. I agree. Who would want to fix him, actually? I love that one of the answers is Cousin Greg. Oh my god, I love these answers actually. There's a lot. Alright, we got Spike Spiegel? Spiegel? Cousin Greg. Mag no one can fix Magneto. No one can. And that's undoable. You can't do that. Mr. Darcy, he's fixable. The Darkling, I don't know who that is. Tom Wumsguns? I think, I think he's also from Succession, and I do think he's fixable. The Tenth Doctor, unfixable. Bucky Barnes, unfixable. Jesse Pinkman, fixable. Moon Knight, I haven't seen it. Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne, unfixable. Matt Murdock, I haven't seen it. Gerald of Rivia. It would take a saint. It would take a fucking saint. Roman Roy. <laughs> Dream slash Morpheus. I haven't seen it. Kendall Roy. Unfixable. Din Turin. Haven't seen it. Cass Brecker. No idea. Dean Winchester. Fixable. <laughs> Father John Pruitt. Haven't seen it. Russ Cole. Haven't seen it. Suko. Fixable. Hannibal Lecter. Unfixable. Will Graham. Unfixable. Anakin Skywalker. Unfixable. 
Eric from Phantom of the Opera. Unfixable. <laughs> Wayne McCullough McCull from the TV show Wayne. I haven't seen it. Loki. Fixable. A war criminal, but fixable. Patrick Bateman. Unfixable. Kylo Ren. Unfixable. Lord Asriel. Haven't seen it. Heathcliff, I'm assuming from Wuthering Heights, and if so, unfixable. You cannot, you cannot do this. I will stay with Howell that, yeah, I could fix him, but it's funnier this way. Ooh, also, do you guys want to hear something nuts? So you know how I upload my videos to my YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel, I know. And I always tag the videos. I have a total of eight subscribers. My channel is very cute, actually. Let's see if I can. Okay. So this is my cute little channel. But if you look at the most recent video, first of all, I have 12 views, which is more than the zero I was expecting. But also, uh, let's go to the comments. Right. If you look here, Mert KK, which is one of the people that I spoke about in my video, in the live stream, talking about people's videos, she answered. And it's like, hey, Clara, thanks for featuring my video on your stream. Kim and gave this a watch and was very grateful. Appreciate it. That's so nice. <laughs> I feel so ashamed now that someone has seen my shit, actually. But yeah, that's... That's me. <laughs> I should put a link to my channel, actually. In case you care. It's actually where you can watch the full live streams because I know sometimes they caught off at some point, but there you can actually see them in full, which I actually recommend. I'm going to give you a video recommendation. That's this one. The video recommendation is from my channel, so like you can not watch it if you want, but it is what it is. Because at the end I did a quiz that was so cute. And I feel bad that people weren't able to see it. But yeah, that's gonna be all for today. Thank you for stopping by, thank you for being here. And uh, I'll see you next week.